Good morning everyone, Jessie here at the Children's Museum of Wilmington, here to show you guys how to make a simple sensory bag for baby play or toddler play using everyday household items that you should have at home. I'm using today a gallon Ziploc bag, you don't have to use a gallon, you can use a snack bag or a sandwich size bag, whatever you have on hand. I'm using two cups of canola oil just because that's what we had here at the museum. You can use any oil that you have, olive oil, baby oil, whatever works for you. One cup of water and food dye, food coloring, today I'm using pink, a stirring stick, and a basket to kind of stabilize everything while I mix everything together. So the first step, I'm going to take our Ziploc bag, open it up, and put it in our little stabilizer basket. We're going to take our oil and pour in our oil. That's two cups of oil. And with a gallon bag, you don't want to go over three cups total, so you can mess around between the water and the oil amount. I'm going to take the food dye and put it in our water. Just a couple of drops should get to what you want. So I'm going to mix it up. As soon as you get as much air as you can out of the bag, I'll hold mine up for you. Uh, you'll see it's kind of like a vacuum seal in here. Oil sits on top, water sits on the bottom because they don't mix, but that's what makes it so much fun to explore and play with. My water, again, is pink because that's what I chose, but it'll be whatever color you decide to go with. Uh, a great way to utilize these sensory play bags is to tape them on a flat surface, whether it's the floor or a tabletop. Once little ones start playing with their hands or their feet, they'll just become mesmerized. Uh, part of it is that lava lamp sort of feel it gives off. But that's one of the many perks of sensory play, and that's why I love not only just this activity, but other sensory play activities. Um, it helps to build so many things with young developing minds, including nerve uh, connections, which in turn helps with cognitive skills, language development, gross and fine motor skills, and the list can go on. Additional items that you can put in these sensory bags is going to be on our website under the CMAO at Home tab. Look for Sensory Bag and it should have everything listed under that. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for joining us today. We look forward to making more videos for you until we can see you again. Bye for now.